Good morning, folks. We've got a lighter day news-wise. Not like you don't have a ton to take in on other topics today, right? But we'll hit sunspots, earthquakes, and solar storms taking out satellites. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where we see continued M-class solar flares. Massive plasma filaments remain as well, and we've got both north and south coronal holes. There's a lot to keep an eye on in terms of the solar wind this coming weekend and the filament eruptions, but I'm firmly focused most significantly on the leading incoming sunspots. We have some bigger spots departing to the right, but they are less complex. The incoming ones on the left, nearer to the equator, are very complex, and most of all this morning it would be the leading group, the one out ahead. This one is not only more closely packed in, but the sunspot umbra are a bit bigger, and if we look at the sunspot magnetism, we can see several areas with interaction potential where positive and negative polarity are ready to collide. That is how you get solar flares. Now, in addition to all the sunspots and filaments and coronal holes, the 171 angstrom view indicates more is coming right behind the equatorial sunspots. That is a very bright signature over there at the limb coming in. Quick seismic note here, the quakes on the west coast of South America are all blot echoes. This is one of the several signs we look for when seismic activity is about to amplify in an area. Hopefully, the surface realizations of that deeper pressure are not too big. Up next, we've got the first story about solar storms and satellites. One of the Starlinks was ready to descend and burn up. Its life was over. But this one came in way earlier than it was supposed to. They blame the puff-up of plasma during the solar storm degrading the orbit ahead of schedule. But that really can't be blamed for what's going on with the joint polar satellite. U.S. sources indicate that it has begun losing control and may not be recoverable. And for this one, we're looking at the five-day proton storm we just had. The internal charging surged during the peak of the storm on Halloween, and two days later when the satellite began to break, we were still in those storm conditions. Unusual and more than we expected to see here in this event. Folks, there are some great events coming up at Observer Ranch before the end of the year. Come out and see us. Learn much more at ObserverRanch.com. Can't wait to shake your hands in person. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.